what is up guys this is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you another update on this project Elixir ROM version 1.2 and of course just when I made this video and thanks for sharing this video Ash in the Pixel Plus UI group right after I published this video I realized there is already a new update so I'm making this video on the latest update and I just dirty flash this one with fcrypt disveller of course because my storage is decrypted and right now I have been noticing amazing improvements so let me show you those today in this video. So first of all, you can download it from the Pling link in the description. This is the particular ROM that I have flashed. This is the new one, the 31st October 2021 build. The previous one which I made a video on was the 25th October 2021 build. Both are beta, but this is the new one, the 31st October 2021 build. It still shows us Project Elixir 1.0, Violet 12.0. That means it's based on Android 12, of course. Finally, in the Android version, it shows this Project Elixir logo. If you're noticing, it looks beautiful right here. And we have the Android version still as Android 12. And this is how you can make the clock to 12 o'clock. And then you will see this. And the Elixir version still shows as 1.0. The device maintainer is sort of so huge thanks to him for this amazing ROM. The security patch is still of October 5th. So you might be thinking not a lot of difference, but there is a lot of difference. Let me show you. This is how the home screen looks like. Still, it looks kind of similar. But the difference is when you pull down the status bar, you will see everything is in white in the white theme. So when you don't have the dark theme enabled, the quick setting panel becomes this background becomes white. So that looks beautiful if you go into a settings. As you can see, this is how it looks. And of course, you can like push into the dark theme and then the dark theme appears just like this. Just notice how seamless it is. So applying dark theme or the white theme is very seamless experience and this is how the power menu looks like right now. There is also the advanced reboot. So right now if you tap on advanced and here of course you get the advanced reboot again. We have the restart normally or restart to bootloader. Then we have the directly reboot to the recovery or system UI. Let me go back and of course you can edit and add multiple toggles still and these are the toggles that you will get. And the whole home screen feels nice. But let me show you one more amazing thing. Finally, we have the double tap to sleep over here. So if I double tap on the status bar, as you can see, it makes the phone sleep. And this is how the always on display looks like. Of course, the always on display is working fine, but still the double tap to wake is buggy when the always on display is on, but that's fine. You can just tap the fingerprint scanner and that will unlock your device just like this. Let me show you one more time. Just notice how seamless it looks, the animation I mean and it is unlocking very fast and it is very reliable Figment scanner unlocking experience. And there you get the customization settings in the display settings of course. Let me scroll down over here. There is the gestures, double tap to sleep on the lock screen and double tap to sleep on the status bar as well as there. So let me actually show you one more time. If I go into the lock screen right now, let me show you as you can see right now I can double tap and that will make the phone sleep and that's just great. Every time it does this beautiful animation whenever you are unlocking. Let me scroll down a little bit. We have the auto rotate screen, then the screen saver and the double tap to wake as well. Let me show you the double tap to wake actually works when you have the always on display off. Right now I have the always on display off and if I double tap, the double tap to wake actually worked fine. Even double tap to sleep on the lock screen is working fine. I can tap the fingerprint scanner and that unlocks the device. In the wallpapers and styles, we still have the beautiful Monet theme engine kind of stuff. And of course the dark theme is working fine again. I have been using with the themed icons, but you can of course go with the normal icons if you want to. And it shows how it will look in the home screen. Right now, let me jump into the battery settings. This is still similar. We have the battery percentage and also the battery usage still looks similar to the pixel kind of battery usage where it shows you last 24 hours of battery use and the screen on time and stuff. It can definitely give you four plus hours of screen on time. For sure, four to five hours of screen on time will be decent, I would say for a Android 12 ROM, but it may give you a little more if you're using the battery saver from right here, or you can use that from the quick toggles too. Also fast charging is working great here. You should not worry. And we still have the charging animation and this is how it looks whenever you are charging the device. Let me show you how it looks on the lock screen and on the quick setting panel. And if you enable the screen locking sound, it makes this kind of sound. And of course, you can tune this vibration and haptics for the UI. As you can see, there is the ring vibration, notification vibration, touch feedback, etc. You can enable the touch feedback is really good over here in Android 12. It still passes the safety net test. So that's great that you can use the banking apps right out of the box. And while I'm showing you those, let me show you the IR Blaster and that too is working fine without any issues. 
the DRM info still shows as L1 if you are noticing. So that means you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p here. In the Google Photos backup and sync, this is how it looks like. Of course, you can go to the uploader size and from here you can customize your storage kind of stuff. From here you can go with the storage saver or the express or original quality. But I would say stick with the storage saver or the express. There you will get the free backup. Also, you can enable Google Assistant by just doing this from the corners of the screen or you can just say, okay, Google. And that simply brings the Google Assistant. So the, those things are simply working super fine. No issues with the Google Assistant here, even with the voice keyword. Also, if you go into the settings, you might see this weird stuff. If you, I think if you have Dirty Flash, the latest build, maybe then it will show up. If you're clean flashing also, then also it will show up. I'm not really sure. But yeah, this shows this percentage kind of stuff. If you click on that, this is just the system UI tuner. From here, you can get the headset, Bluetooth, etc. icons enabling option. That's just great. Let me go back. This is the developer option, which shows the set option for app development. And here, this search box shown is the backup kind of section. And if you go into the gestures, we still have the swipe break screenshot. And that is simply working fine. We have the delete option right now over here. Earlier, this delete option was not appearing, but right now it's there. And once you are taking a screenshot in a longer area, let me show you. Right now you get the capture mode, then the delete and edit, share, etc. options. In the full screen navigation gesture settings, we have the, of course, full screen navigation gestures and the two button, three button navigation, both are working great. Still, we have the one handed mode. You can use the show notification option. So right now, if I do this, as you can see, it brings up my quick setting panel from right here. Let me go back. We have the quickly open camera still and the stock camera here is still the Google camera go. And that is simply working fine again. No issues with that. Even with portrait mode, you can use and the portrait mode is working great actually over here with this Google Camera Go and I have no complaints with it. This Google Camera Go I actually like over here that this is there by default. Now let me talk about the performance difference. There is a huge noticeable performance difference. If you are looking at the CPU stress test benchmark and you will notice on the new build there is not a lot of drop like it happened earlier. Yes, there is a couple of drops on the new build but yeah, I would say it is much better like CPU stress test on the newer build and just look at the Geekbench score the new build is having 486 of single core score whereas the older build has 167 which is very very low when compared to the new one so yeah you are getting much better Geekbench score over here even if you are looking at the multi-core score on the older build it was 641 but on the newer build we are getting 1392 so right now the performance has been totally fixed even it is noticeable in the Android score too on the newer build, we are getting 2,20,874 of Android score. And on the older build, we were getting about 1,27,180 points, which was almost half. So yeah, the performance has been improved quite a lot over here. So again, what do I think about this new build? Of course, we still have the new clocks and stuff. Everything just looks much, much more beautiful. And still the volume panel looks like this. You can go into full volume panel from here. Everything just is working flawlessly and the whole UI seems a lot more smoother than it was previously and all these clock widgets you still get over here. They look pretty much beautiful. All the widgets are working great. We still have the pixel launcher. Also, we have the double tap to sleep. Now that is much more usable. I would say that makes the device much more usable because you don't have to press the power button every time you lock the phone. And these are the things that makes a really huge difference in my opinion in Android 12 at least for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. This projectile Xer ROM is gonna rock. As of right now, this is one of the best ROMs, best Android 12 ROMs at least that I have seen for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Let me in the comments, what do you guys think? Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDNDX signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.